In this video we're going to discuss changes in the macroeconomic equilibrium. So I've drawn the axis here, don't forget on the y-axis we're going to have the price level. Price level. You often just see that as a P in your graphs. Where on the x-axis we have real GDP. And then we can draw our aggregate demand curves. So we'll call this, label this one AD0, and the aggregate supply curves, and this is AS0. And where these two curves cross is going to be our equilibrium. If we go down to our real GDP axis, this is going to be our, our Y0, our equilibrium, uh, real GDP. And then if we go over to our uh, Y axis, we have P0, which is going to be our equilibrium price level. So in our first scenario, let's look at how changes in the aggregate demand function change our equilibrium. So let's look at scenario one. Let's think about a positive shock to our AD function. So positive shock is going to mean a shift to the right, because that's going to be raising real income. So let's change our colors here. And so we're going to have a positive shock to the AD curve here. We'll label that one. Now, this is going to be our new equilibrium where the new AD curve meets the old AS curve. We can label that Y1. And we can look at the new price level by just going over to the price axis and seeing what our new price level is in equilibrium after this aggregate demand shock. So both price level and real GDP increase. Now let's analyze the second scenario where there's a negative shock to aggregate demand. So let's just scroll down. We'll need to redraw our axes here. So again, we have price level on this axis. We have real GDP on the x-axis. We have an aggregate demand curve, a downward sloping aggregate demand curve, an upward sloping with an increasing slope aggregate supply curve where they meet is going to determine equilibrium in terms of price level, P0, and in terms of real GDP, which will put Y0. Okay, so now let's look at scenario number two. This is going to be a negative shock to aggregate demand. So now let's change our color. So negative shock is going to mean a fall in aggregate demand. So this aggregate demand curve is going to be pushed to the left, downwards and to the left, where it means the old supply curve is going to be your equilibrium, price, and real GDP. So now we have a fall in the price level and a fall in real GDP caused by this decrease in aggregate demand, so this negative aggregate demand shock. And so now we have both price and real GDP fall do do to this negative AD shock. So now we've seen what happens to equilibrium when we have a positive aggregate demand shock. We see that real GDP and the price level both move in the same direction and both moved up. Whereas if we have a negative demand shock, we see that both the price level and the real GDP go down. 